Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today we're going to make a sunshine ring. I'll link up below I have another tutorial for a sun ring. What you're going to need for this project are your tools. I have my ring mandrel, 18 and 20 gauge wire and 6 or 8 millimeter beads. So maybe about 18 inches and then another shorter piece. So the first thing we're going to do is take this wire and we're just going to go around here once, do a full turn and then bring it up. We'll hold this with the end of our flat pliers. You can decide what measurement you want to use. We're going to push that down and then we're going to go around here, full turn and then up. This one we want to be a little longer so we're going to place the flat pliers just above that one and give it a good push down. Push it right down and then the same thing. We're going to go around and up. Pinch them together if you need. And then the same thing. We're going to put this one in this position. Go down and then we're going to keep going with that. So once you have about an inch to an inch and an eighth, depending on the size of the bead, you're just going to cut that. So I just clipped that in there flush and poked it in. And then this one, I ended on the shorter end and I did the same thing. I clipped it and poked it in. So we have something that looks like this. I just bent that at a right angle. So we're just going to bring this one around to form the circle. So just bring it all the way around. If it's easier, go in with your pliers to help bend the wire a little bit. Once you've completed this circle, you're just going to take this wire and bend it around and then bring this one over. And now we're going to see what bead fits. The six millimeter seems to work quite well. There's six rays on each side. So we're just going to take this one and bend it into the back, clip it and push it in. So this is what we have so far. And before we go any further, you can go ahead and adjust some of these rays. So this kind of goes straight up. This one looks like it connects with that one. This one, you might have to just bend it a little bit. You just do some little adjusting that you need. So I'm going to bring that one out and that one and that one. You might find this easier with 22 gauge wire. If you do, you can always attach the band at the end. So now we're going to get our mandrel, stick it on the mandrel, bring this wire around all the way around. If this is too long to work with, trim it a little bit. And then we're going to take this one, push it through just a little bit and now put it back on the ring mandrel, adjust it, take the end and bring it right around. And we'll clip it, push that end in, put it back on the ring mandrel. It's always a good idea to fix it up again. And there you have a very beautiful sunshine ring. If you want to make it a little more fancy, just go in with your round nose pliers and you can bend the ray over and up. If you can't access it with the round pliers, get your tweezer nose pliers and just bend it a little bit. So just bend it over one way, over the other way. This short one you'll just bend one way. And you can see the sunshine has a different look to it when the rays are wavy. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.